Well, it wasn't going to be long. 2014 World Cup downhill champion Josh Bryceland has a Cannondale e mountain bike. So let's have a look at the details. Right, let's start off with the basics. Now, Josh is riding a Motera SE, which is the downhill version of this bike. Uh, he's riding a size large, comes in at 1247 wheelbase, 450 mil chainstay, 360 mil bottom bracket, and a 470 mil reach. Right, from the front, Josh has a Boxer Select fork there, 180 mil travel, and on the rear, a Super Deluxe Damper Select as well. Uh, 29 inch wheels, I'm gonna let Josh discuss the tires, rims, and hubs on this bike. Uh, but of course, you wanna know about the motor, it's the all new Bosch motor. Now, you might have seen that the new Bosch motor has been recently launched. Uh, it is 25% lighter than the old motor and 48% smaller. It comes with 75 newton meters of torque, and Bryson has got a 625 watt hour battery there, so he can go tearing around the hills like a maniac. Gearing GX Eagle 1150 cassette on the back with a 34 tooth chain ring with 160 mil cranks. Brakes, 200 mil rotors front and rear, and those are SRAM coats. Okay, Bryson has got a 150 mil Cannondale dropper on this post, plus a load of his own touches. Josh, talk me through the bars and the grips and the seat and the wheels and the tires. So yeah, a lot of the stuff transfers straight over off the downhill bike, which is fantastic. The um, hub configuration is exactly the same, Stephen. And uh, yeah, I wanted to keep it all sponsor correct. So on went the Kings and uh, Santa Cruz rims, Berg Tech bar and stem on the direct mount, those triple are, clamps. Those are nice wheels, aren't they? Chris Kings. Oh, I mean, they're listen to that. Delicious, aren't listen they? to that. Oh, you can't beat it, can you? I've got some on my hardtail that are about seven years old and they sound so crisp. Uh, you've got downhill casing tyres on this bike. I do, yeah. That, like I said, it's all just come straight off the downhill bike. So yeah. um, I think after our little chat, it probably does use a bit more battery having that. But, um, having the soft compound tyres. Well, and just the thicker casing, but yeah. I love the way it holds up in turns. When I've previously ridden them, the, the flex you get in an exo sidewall, yeah. It's, I just really can't stand it, so the DH casing made a big difference. And I guess it. you're not hanging about you, really, let's face it. Uh, what width bars have you got on there? Those are alloy bars. They are aluminium bars, they're a 38mm rise and yeah. they're 800 wide and full width. Yeah. I, um, I chopped down my trail bike a little bit, but these are just full. Yeah. Fabric grips, are these, is that stock? Is that Actually, those come stock on this bike, don't they? They do, yeah. These aren't my signature grips, because We've ran out and mine are all pretty tired. Yeah. And these are the fungi fabric ones, but they're also they're a fantastic grip, super comfy. Pedals? Big Tech Mark V's, big yeah. boys. I yeah. don't even know if they're out yet, but they should be uh, There you go. A bit wider. Yeah. Now, a few of the details of this bike. It's got a carbon fibre front end to it, front triangle, and a alloy swinging arm on it. So no hesitation in riding an E-mounted bike then, Josh? Especially 180 mil travel and 160 on the back. Yeah, my, um, I'll be honest, I've, I must, like, if you'd have asked me a year ago, I'd have been probably a little bit more adverse to jumping straight on one just yeah. because of my own but, I mean, preconceptions. But I think with Cannondale making such fantastic ones, it's like, why wouldn't you? Do you ride Cannondale? Clearly, know, without that kind of statement. Come on. <laughs> Uh, so what are you looking forward to going to do on it? I mean, you can wander out your, out your boat in the morning, go tear on the Peak District. Riding with my dad, mostly. Dad does loads of it. So and your granddad. Buzzing to get out of it. That's my granddad. <laughs> so. But it's great, isn't it? You can go and explore those places in the Alps, so you've not got a chairlift or an uplift to them. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And scoping missions for digging new stuff yeah. and looking for terrain. Uh, and lucky for Josh, the assist level on the new Bosch motor has gone from 300% in turbo up to 340%. And of course, the eco level has gone from 40 to 62. Some other nice touches on this bike has got a bash guard. And as you'll probably see on the screen now, Bryson does things on an e-mountain bike other people don't. So there you go. Uh, let's know your thoughts on Bryson's uh, Candle Matera SE. If you want to see some more pro bikes, check out Nico Vulio's Lapierre just here. Or in fact, uh, Fabian Burrell, who's actually a world champion as well, Josh. No, no, stay on the there, are you? <laughs> Actually, click on the globe to subscribe <laughs> to e-mountain bike. Thanks, Josh. <laughs> Cheers, yeah.